Subscribe, hit that bell icon and share this clip if you enjoy it. This is TRS Clips. So what is the future of terrorism in the world? See, and future probably... terrorism, if you ask, it will be all cyber terrorism. Uh, blowing up of oil lines and the blowing up of people. And uh, if you consider the war which is happening in Syria or all this I ISIS and all that, do you call it terrorism or civil war or what is it all about? So all the uh, spillover weapons which uh, Russians left were used by others earlier, 20 years before. Now the Americans have left. So African, uh, I mean, uh, not Africa, uh, Afghan uh, government doesn't exist as the Talibani government. So where will all the weapons go and who will have access to them? And what kind of uh, uh, terrorism? You so you've seen Al-Qaeda. Then, uh, then you have seen ISIS, you have seen various other forms of uh, uh, terrorism. So metamorphosis would uh, be a continuous process. But specific, the world, specific to India? Specific to India is cyber. Cyber threat is what I would uh, be wary of. Mm. And uh, since the government is prepared and government has spent uh, hundreds and thousands of crores to develop Navy, uh, Coast Guard, the Police and uh, various other uh, energy, um, uh, Mr. Chidambaram was the Home Minister at that time. On a given date, he wanted four hubs to be ready. That is um, uh, 2009 or 2010, January, uh, he, he visited by morning to evening four hubs. That is uh, Mumbai, Gauhati, Hyderabad and uh, one in uh, Delhi perhaps. So all these four places he visited and inaugurated in one day. So these people have their land, they have their training facility and they've got their state-of-the-art weapon. But mind you, I'm repeating again, Force One is equally capable and we have it. Mm. Because this energy is meant for a zone, that is four states. But whereas this Maharashtra uh, state would have a dedicated equivalent of NSG called Force One. Mm. Capable officers are posted, they're well-trained and they're well-located, they're well honed. So I think we can end this particular episode. Just again, so much information and Thank you. talking to you. I feel very protected as an Indian citizen. I'm sure the listeners feel the same. Um, so I gave away all information which is available in the net and earlier revealed. So I have not revealed any official secrets uh, at all. All this information at that time when we created only it was there. I constructed a Martyrs Memorial for eight, uh, 18 of them on the Marine Drive. Now it is shifted to Com uh, Commissioner Police Office. So whatever I have told is with the basic intention of telling people that you are protected. Mm -hmm. You feel safe. Don't feel demoralized. That's the whole point. Even the police force which heard me earlier. I, I, I also organized uh, four, um, uh, four uh, conferences, uh, anti-terrorism conference, where Dr. Abdul Kalam, uh, Mr. K.P.S. Gill, and uh, the then uh, the NSA, Mr. M.K. Narayanan, and various others, 20 of them had come. Each place had five uh, uh, speakers, like the level of Dr. Abdul Kalam. 1,200 uh, civilians and policemen had come and listened to that. That was all to um, uh, the demoralized civilians and police to, to boost their morale. I had organized it. Two in NCPA, one in uh, Dadar, and one in uh, uh, Chembur, uh, Fine Arts Society. So four uh, into 1,200, 4,800 civilians had attended these sessions, widely covered in the uh, press. So these are all the steps we had taken so that people will feel uh, uh, encouraged, they will be encouraged to know that the Mumbai police is dedicated and they will do their best. Yeah, I mean, of course, I'm going to end it by saluting you and the Mumbai police, but I'd also love to quote uh, a lot of historians, one of my idols, Joe Rogan, they keep using this one quote, which is hard men build easy times, easy times build soft men, soft men build hard times, and hard times build hard men. So I would like to highlight you as one of those hard men, sir. Yeah, so. but the hard people will uh, get going only when the times become tougher and tougher. The mm. hard men will be hard men, but when it becomes uh, uh, risk-taking, their appetite is very high. They build and they come up with the sterling performance only when there are challenges. So uh, you have to have challenges to bring the best in you. Yeah. So tough men would come out uh, in the best possible way only if they are challenged. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Thank and, you very and, much. And the big, big hope is that the podcast kind of send some toughness across the screen. It would, it would, it would. Uh, you know, we must pray to God that this kind of incident will not uh, happen again. But if it ever happens, our police force and the uh, government of India forces and others will be fully reined, fully uh, geared to, to face such kind of a thing. I did make a statement when I became Commissioner of Police that if any such attack uh, takes place when I'm the Commissioner of Police, in 30 minutes their coffins will be sent back to Pakistan. That's what I said.
uh, it is, was not tested. But then, <laughs> having said it in a bravado kind of a way, I had to immediately uh, get into the job and uh, prepare people and prepare those bulletproof vehicles, bulletproof jackets. Incidentally, I wanted to tell you, the next attack could have happened immediately because our guys didn't have uh, bulletproof jackets. So I told MCHI, that is Maharashtra Chamber of uh, Housing Industry, the builders in short form. I told them, this is the specification, AK-47 bullets can be taken, give us donation. So they spent about 5 crores of rupees and bought about 500 bulletproof jackets of that specification donated. Somebody criticized saying that, how can you take it from builders? I said, no, I'll take it from anybody. But my men, if there is next attack, will not go rushing into the scene like last time. They will require protection. So I'm getting it. Government took its own sweet time to buy the bulletproof jackets later. But these 500 uh, commandos would have 500 bullets, uh, bulletproof jackets because I took a risk. Okay, my name can get spoiled. But what is wrong? I'm saving my men. Next eight, 16 or 18 men would not uh, die uh, because we are uh, because we are not prepared. Mm.